It yeah. hurts. What hurts? This whole thing. What whole thing? You have no feelings. Yes, I do. You think we could be cool one day? I don't know. We could be honest. I'm not going anywhere, so I, so I won't leave. Cause you put your mouth on me. Now I'm crazy, and you be you with to me. Chicago police investigating a homicide in a Southside pawn shop this afternoon. Officers called to a domestic disturbance at Easy Pawn at about 3.30 on South Ashland. This is the story of 33-year-old China Mitchell, a mother of three who was deeply in love with her boyfriend and the father of one of her children, 32-year-old Louis Foster. Their loving relationship would turn violent, with China filing over 10 police reports against him. Sadly, just weeks after China went to the police to report that he broke into her home and threatened to kill her, he would shoot her multiple times inside their local pawn shop with the police right outside the door. How could this happen and why wasn't she protected? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, with its towering skyline and bustling streets, is the heart of the Midwest's urban life. Known for its deep dish pizza, jazz music, and iconic sports teams, the city embodies a mix of tradition and modernity. 33-year-old China Mitchell, a resident of Chicago, was a mother of three children, a two-year-old daughter, 11-year-old son, and a 13-year-old son. She held a position of supervisor at a security company and was devoted to raising her three children. Her life was a testament to her resilience and dedication, as she tirelessly worked to provide for her family in ways she herself never experienced in her upbringing. Described as an exceptional mother, China's commitment to her children's welfare was unmatched. Beyond her role as a mother, she was celebrated for being an extraordinary sister and daughter, embodying the essence of selflessness by consistently prioritizing the needs of others over her own. In the midst of managing her responsibilities and nurturing her family, China was in a long-time relationship with 32-year-old Louis Foster. The two were in a relationship for years. Louis was the father of one of her three children, and she was deeply in love with him. She expressed the love she had for him online, and according to her posts, she planned to spend many more years with him. You really love me huh? Damn baby, you the realist. I love you so much my love, you mean more to me than I can explain, but I'ma make sure you feel it consistently. I love you baby you are the best. What am I to do without you? I love you baby, thanks for being my strength when I'm weak. Thanks for having patience and tolerating my mood swings. Thank you for being so genuine and kind to me. I can be very difficult majority of the time, but you don't even recognize that. You give me so much credit and most important you keep me grounded. I feel safe with you I have no worries when we're together. You complete me baby and I'm looking forward to spending tens of years of happiness and growth with you. There is no separating us. I want you forever. The love within the relationship would eventually fade and the two would frequently argue and according to reports, Louis would become violent towards China and she would end the relationship and move on with her life. She posted on her social media, RIP to my old relationship. I don't know who needs to hear this. But she just gonna pop out one day married, and y'all gonna be mad. No, you can't come back, I need a break. This ain't love, it felt like hey, I need space. Sad too long, and now it's time to get away. All I'm gonna say is to the man that get her, he lucky. But to the man that keep her, he smart. The two had a child together and still had to be in contact with one another, and at some point, China determined that Louis was a danger to her and the kids, so she took the legal steps to ensure her safety and that of her children by obtaining a protective order against Louis. This protective measure, which also extended its coverage to her children, including one child she shared with Louis, had lapsed in April of 2023. Eight months later on Christmas, Louis broke into China's home while she was sleeping. She got up, saw him there, and told him he had to go. That's when it was super clear that she was in a lot of danger. Louis threatened her in a really scary way, saying straight up, I am going to kill you. And sadly, he would soon follow through on his promise. Following this alarming encounter, China sought the assistance of law enforcement by visiting the 6th District Police Station. There, she recounted the episode to the officers, who then advised her on the procedural steps for either securing a renewed protective order against Louis or initiating legal action to have him arrested. There is no record of China pursuing further legal protection or charges being filed against Louis following this incident. 
On January 15, 2024, at about 3.30 p.m., officers were called to the scene of a domestic disturbance to Easy Pond at 4824 South Ashland Avenue. China and Louis got into a heated argument inside the pawn shop that they regularly frequented. It is unclear how the two reconnected. Did China attend the pawn shop with Louis out of fear, or did she willingly go there with him? At the pawn shop, staffed at the time by three employees and a manager, Louis accused China of owing him money. Inside the pawn shop, China told the staff that she was afraid of the man she was with and that he threatened to harm her. She ran behind the counter dashed into the employee bathroom seeking refuge, while the store employees quickly dialed 911 for help. However, Louis followed her inside and locked the door behind them. When police arrived, they knocked on the door and shortly after, they heard gunshots coming from the store's bathroom. When the police searched the pawn shop, they found China in the bathroom, on the floor. She had been shot several times, with injuries to both her head and body. Emergency services rushed her to the University of Chicago Hospital for immediate medical attention, but despite their efforts, she was declared deceased at the hospital. Louis attempted to flee from the crime scene, and in the process, he dropped a handgun just outside the pawn shop. The police were able to catch him about a block away and took him into custody. While he was being arrested, Louis made a number of statements suggesting he was thinking about harming himself. Louis was admitted to the hospital for a thorough mental health assessment, which made it impossible for him to be physically present in court for his scheduled legal hearing. Chicago police investigating a homicide in a Southside pawn shop this afternoon. Officers called to a domestic disturbance at EZ Pawn at about 3.30 on South Ashland. It was in the back of the woods, back of the yards neighborhood. They say a man shot a woman in the head and chest. She later died at the University of Chicago hospitals. Officers took that man into custody. Charges are pending. The judge ordered him to be held in jail until he could appear for his hearing the following week. Louis was charged with first-degree murder and being an armed habitual criminal. Louis had a significant history of felony charges on his record, many of which were related to instances of domestic violence. At the time of China's death, there was already a warrant for Louis's arrest for probation violation in a previous case. A month before he murdered China, on December 15, a judge found that Louis had broken the conditions of his probation from a previous case involving an aggravated DUI, and the judge ordered a warrant for his arrest. China had a documented history of seeking help for alleged abuse at the hands of Louis, prosecutors said, making reports to police at least 10 times since 2019. China also previously took out an order of protection against Louis in 2022, writing that he pinned her down, covered her mouth, and said, I'm going to make sure to kill you this time. The order of protection lapsed and was extended a number of times over a seven-month period, but was vacated in May when neither party appeared for a court date. After Louis's arrest for China's murder, his public defender argued against him being detained, arguing that he had strong ties to the community. The community, the people who live with the defendant, his family members, would not be safe if he were to be placed on electronic monitoring, responded the judge. The judge determined Louis to be a danger to the community and ordered him to be held without bail while he awaits trial. China's shocking murder devastated her loved ones. Her brother, McRae, believes that the police didn't give his sister's complaints the attention they deserved. He's shocked and frustrated by what he sees as a failure by the Chicago Police Department to act. According to McRae, if the police had taken the right steps and listened to his sister, this tragedy could have been prevented. He's pretty upset about the whole thing and thinks the police could have done something to stop it before it got out of hand. What happened to China Mitchell shouldn't have happened. She was trying to seek protection from the father of her child and went to the authorities for help, unfortunately the help came too late and her life was brutally taken, leaving her three kids without a mother. My condolences to her friends and family. May you continue to heal and one day find peace. If you or someone you know is experiencing abuse, please know that help is available. You are not alone and there are resources and support systems designed to assist you. You can reach out to the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE-7233 for confidential assistance and support or visit their website at www.thehitline.org for more resources and information. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.